volume of a prism. We've been talking a lot about area. Area, we had said, is the amount of space that an object occupies. For volume, we're going to talk about how much, or how many, I'm sorry, how many cubic units fit inside of this box. Or for example, if I wanted to fill this box with water, or gel, or soda, or let's say rocks, how, how much does this box hold? Or inside this box, how much does it hold? That would be the volume. And volume is a cubic uh, measure. So that means we're going to multiply uh, length times width times height. Okay, And that would be a cubic inch measure for this example. So we're not doing squares now because we're not doing area. Let's do an example on finding the volume for this prism and then we'll do the volume for this one. Let's write the equation for volume. Volume for prisms is equal to the area of the base times the height. That's it. That's simple. We're going to look for the area of the base. So depending on the kind of prism, the area, this letter B, will morph into different equations because this letter B depends on what shape the base is. So for this example, if I'm going to look for the volume, first I have to look for the area of the base. So the area of the base, since the base for this prism is a rectangle, this is a rectangular prism, that means that the base, which is right here, Here's the base, it's a rectangle, and I have the measures for the rectangle, right? I know it's 7 by 4. So to find the area of a rectangle, we know that it is length times width. So I can easily find the area to be 7 times 4, which is 28. Okay? 28 square inches. That's the area of the base. That would be how much space the bottom of this box occupies. Okay. Now, for volume, I would have to multiply that area times the height. Here's the height of the prism. How tall is this prism? How tall is this box? It's 5 inches tall. So for volume, I'm going to multiply B times H. That would equal 28 times the height, which is 5. And that equals a total of 140 cubic inches. And that's the answer for the volume of this box. Let's do the volume of this triangular prism. Okay? Same formula. Volume is equal to the area of the base times the height. Notice that the base in this case, the base is not a rectangle now. The base or the bottom of this box is a triangle and we know it's a right triangle okay so knowing that this is a right triangle I know that the height is 6 and the base is 8 or I can also say that the base is 6 and the height is 8 it doesn't matter so let's look for the area of the base the area of the base since this is a triangle we need to find the area of the base by saying base times height divided by 2. That's the formula for the area of the base because it's a triangle. So the area of the base is going to equal 8 times 6 divided by 2. Because the base is 8, the height is 6 divided by 2. So the area of the triangle is 24 square feet because this is area. That's the amount of space this triangle occupies. Now if I were to fill it with popcorn, for example, how much popcorn would that hold? Well, that would be volume. Now I have to take the base that I just found and multiply it times the height. So what is the height of this prism? Here it is. The height of this prism is 3 feet tall. So we take 24, which is the area of the base, times 3, that's the height, and that will equal 72 cubic feet. Okay, remember volume is always a cubed 
unit. And there you have two examples for the volume of a prism. Now let's look at the volume of cylinders. For the volume of a cylinder, the formula is exactly the same as the one we used for prisms. It's the area of the base times the height. Very simple. Notice that the base for a cylinder is a circle. Okay? So the circle has its own formula for area. This circle right here, that's the base. Now, remember that for cylinders and for prisms, the bases are congruent. So all the information on the top circle is identical to the bottom circle. So let's go ahead and find B. B, which is the area of the base, is going to be pi r squared because pi r squared is the area of a circle. So to find the area of a circle, all we need is the radius. How much is the radius here? Two feet. So I'm going to square. It's going to be two squared. And that equals four pi. That is the area of the base and its square feet because it's area. Now to find the volume, I'm going to take that area and multiply it times the height of the cylinder. So that's going to equal 4 pi times the height of the cylinder, which is 3 feet. Okay? 3 feet. So that's going to equal 12 pi cubic feet. And with your calculator, you can approximate this to 38 cubic feet. And there's your answer for volume of a cylinder. And there you have it. I hope this helps you understand this section. I'll see you in the next video.